If you're the parent of a troubled teenager, you need this right now. Did you know that the old problems of early teenage pregnancy and small-scale violence are no longer what's keeping worried parents awake at night? Alcohol and speeding tickets are nothing as compared to what's going on nowadays. Satanism and suicidality are much bigger problems assaulting our teenagers. How about mass shootings? What about the effects of designer drugs that nobody quite understands? These alternate realities depicted in video games that are swallowing up our teenagers at unprecedented rates. What is happening to our civilization, you might be asking yourself. And more importantly, what can you, as a concerned and loving parent, do about this insidious problem that is undermining the very fabric of our society? In case you and I have not met, I am Dr. Flavio. I have been working with loving, concerned parents and teenagers for 25 years with excellent results. You know, another word for teenager is adolescent. And the word adolescent has its root in the Latin word dolor, or pain, indicating that our adolescent years are our hurting years. It is tough to be a teenager, and we all hurt as a teenager. Parents are also bursting at the seams with frustration. The economy is not hot. We just came out of a pandemic. We just don't seem to be happy, and marriages, in some cases, are falling apart. It is really tough to be a parent as well. It is interesting that the number one complaint teenagers have against their parents is regarding communication. Parents find the teenagers to be rude and moody, whereas teenagers find parents to be intrusive and disrespectful of their newly found independence. It seems that parents and teenagers are in some sort of stalemate. And who loses in this battle between parents and teens? Well, they both lose, of course. Teens lose the support they so much need to become a successful adult and avoid major trauma that actually delays their development and actualization later in life. And parents lose the sanctity of a loving home and they tend to suffer way more later on in life during their empty nest years. There has to be a better way, right? There has to be a better way. And there is. There is a better way. I am eager to show you another way of conducting this relationship between parents and teenagers. But first, let's become properly acquainted. My name is Flavio. Click on the link below. Tell me what your name is so that we can become acquainted and I'll tell you all about this relationship between parents and teenagers, how to get the sanity back in your home, how to create a loving home with your teenagers. So click on the link below and I'll see you on the inside with new hope for a loving and peaceful home with your teenager.